Well, Brian, we do have a statement right now coming in just moments ago from Nick Merrill, a spokesman for Secretary Clinton, about uh, her appearance at Ground Zero this morning. I will read this statement to you right now. It said, Secretary Clinton attended the September 11th commemoration ceremony for an hour and 30 minutes this morning to pay her respects. During the ceremony, she felt overheated, so she departed and went to her daughter's apartment. She is feeling much better. So again, this is coming on the heels of what's been really unfolding in New York for about uh, 90 minutes or so, Brian. Right. Uh, she was seen by some law enforcement officials leaving abruptly, and then uh, we were not told exactly where she was. But this statement now coming out from the Clinton campaign, from Nick Merrill, again, I'll repeat to you. He said, during the ceremony, she felt overheated and departed to go to her daughter's apartment. So she is at Chelsea's apartment in the Flatiron neighborhood of Manhattan. That's where she is uh, right now, Brian. Of course, this is all... Uh, uh, you know, being discussed because there have been questions raised by um, her opponents uh, about her health and other things. But uh, um, she was seen this morning uh, leaving Ground Zero, and then this statement now out from Nick Merrill saying she's fine. She was just feeling overheated this morning. We also have some other uh, reporting from uh, our other colleagues here. Let me look at this right now, Brian. And it says uh, she left the 9/11 event because she was not uh, feeling well. Um, Secret Service agents were helping her into her van in the motorcade. Uh, someone saw that happening. A law enforcement official is telling CNN that she was helped in her van at Ground Zero and she was uh, taken to uh, Chelsea's apartment and she is at her daughter's apartment right now in New York. Brian. Family members of victims of the 2001 and 1993 attacks on the World Trade Center are gathering in Lower Manhattan right now. Today's solemn ceremony is taking place at the 9-11 Memorial Plaza. Our Rick Leventhal is in Lower Manhattan. He saw the attacks unfold 15 years ago as well. Rick? And John, before we get to that, I wanted to bring our viewers up to date on a story that is breaking right now uh, that I just learned about within the last 15 or 20 minutes. As you know, there are many dignitaries gathered at the scene, including uh, Republican nominee Donald Trump and the uh, Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton, who was at Ground Zero, was there for the ceremony, and left unexpectedly left early because of what appeared to be a medical episode. I have a law enforcement source who was there, who was 15 feet away from Hillary Clinton. He says she was standing on a curb with a protective detail waiting for her motorcade. Uh, they were surprised to see her because she wasn't supposed to be leaving yet, so they had to wait for the motorcade two or three minutes. When it finally rolled up, my source says she stumbled off the curb, appeared to faint lost one of her shoes that wound up underneath the van. Uh, her protective detail, I'm told, helped her into that van, and then the van took off, presumably in the direction of a hospital. They grabbed her shoe and flagged down her, the rest of her detail. Her shoe was given to that detail, who, who was following the other two vehicles, and they left uh, Ground Zero early, uh, just moments ago, because of some apparent medical episode that Hillary Clinton was suffering. It's not terribly hot today, John. Uh, it was warm certainly warm and warm at the scene, uh, but again, Hillary Clinton, my source, was 15 feet away, says she appeared to be having some sort of medical episode, uh, had to be helped into her van, and left the uh, left ground zero early before this ceremony ended, uh, apparently because of uh, a medical problem. One other note about the Clinton episode, John, it happened in an area that was off limits to the press. So the pool reporters that follow Hillary Clinton wherever she goes didn't see it. They didn't know about it. As far as we know, there were no cameras at that location. And as far as we know, the Clinton campaign still has not confirmed that there was any problem uh, with Hillary Clinton. We still haven't gotten confirmation of why she left early, but we have confirmed through a second source that she did, in fact, leave early. And apparently, according to my source, who was 15 feet away from the former Senator John, she was clearly having some kind of medical episode, stumbled and nearly fell as her knees buckled, and she came off that curb and then was helped by her protective detail into her van and left uh, ground zero within the last 30 minutes. Yeah, we certainly wish uh, Senator Clinton well. Um, talk about the temperature. You mentioned, I mean, it has been abnormally hot and humid in New York for September, especially. Uh, you, yeah. you say that it's not as oppressive this morning as it has been. It was certainly warm and humid earlier, but now uh, there's a breeze, and there had been talk of, of heavy rains predicted today. Uh, but there's a breeze, and it's now very, very comfortable. In fact, reminds me of the incredible weather we had here 15 years ago uh, on September 11, 2001. It was a gorgeous day then. It's uh, right now a, a gorgeous day again. 
Uh, so this could be weather related, I suppose, but it doesn't at this hour appear to be uh, oppressively hot. All right. Well, again, we wish Secretary Clinton well uh, from whatever in, in recovering from whatever this particular episode was. Uh, great reporting there, as always. Rick Leventhal. Rick, thank you. This is an NBC News special report. Here's Lester Holt. Good day from New York. Some concerns raised uh, this morning about the well-being of Hillary Clinton, Democratic candidate for president, after she left the 9-11 memorial service uh, at Ground Zero earlier than expected. Her campaign telling us uh, that it may have been related to the heat and that she is okay. Let's go to NBC's Hallie Jackson now for more. Hallie? Lester, I want to read you the statement from Hillary Clinton's campaign coming to us just moments ago. A spokesman saying Secretary Clinton attended the September 11th commemoration ceremony for just an hour and 30 minutes this morning to pay her respects and greet some of the families of the fallen. During the ceremony, she felt overheated, so departed to go to her daughter's apartment and is now feeling much better. For about 90 minutes this morning, it was unclear what had happened to Secretary Clinton, where she had gone. The small band of reporters traveling with her had been kept at the 9-11 ceremony after Clinton left around 9.30, walked out, we are told, and ultimately, apparently, has gone to her daughter Chelsea Clinton's house in Manhattan. We, uh, Hallie, thank you. We do know it has been uh, unseasonably hot and humid here in the New York area for the last several days, and our folks uh, at Ground Zero say certainly those were the conditions this morning when uh, Secretary uh, Clinton was taken away. I want to go to Andrea Mitchell on the phone right now. Andrea, the health uh, of uh, Secretary Clinton certainly has become an issue in this campaign. What we have just reported here has driven a lot of speculation today on social media. What can you tell us? Her health has been an issue, and I can tell you that traveling with her nonstop, uh, it has been uh, no issue for her. It's all been rumor and speculation driven really by her opponents by the Trump campaign. Um, they and Rudy Giuliani in particular have raised all sorts of questions. Uh, she, she has been healthy. She has been the campaign. Her travel has been very Cell phone signals breaking up, Andrea, unfortunately, but your point is taken. And we're looking at these still photos, by the way. Uh, we believe this is about the time, uh, well, this was clearly before she was taken away. She seemed fine. She was interacting with the other uh, uh, dignitaries and uh, politicians who would gather there for the reading of the names as the country marks the 15th anniversary of the attacks of 9-11. But again, to uh, reiterate what Hallie Jackson said, uh, the uh, Clinton campaign uh, reporting a short time ago that she was overheated and left after about 90 minutes at Ground Zero. She went to her daughter's apartment in Manhattan about uh, four or five miles away. And as you see in that uh, statement, written statement we received, they say she is feeling much better. That is what we know. Andrew, are you back with us? Back with you. I can just report that she has had no episodes of this kind, not since 2012 when she caught the flu. She had a stomach flu. She was seriously dehydrated. She did faint. She hit her head and had a concussion. That was the last medical episode that we know of, and that was wild, wildly reported. At the time, uh, there was a lot of speculation, but the doctor's reports, very complete doctor's reports, did indicate that she has had uh, some issues and she takes blood, uh, uh, sorry, she, t she takes medications that include medications to uh, thin the blood because of previous episodes with thrombosis, but nothing that has been of any issue in this campaign other than criticism from her opponent.